Hey everyone, Dr. Jason West with the Live at Five. We're talking about oxidative medicine and why it is so important for health. Not only for prevention, but for anything that ails you, you gotta know about this therapy. I'm so excited to, we call it ozone, the new medical drug. And this is a tribute to Dr. Velio Bochi, who was an Israeli medical doctor um, researcher that was based out of um, uh, Jerusalem. And he had this really cool book called The New Medical Drug, all about ozone therapy, he passed away. Um, and I just wanted to uh, recognize him. Also, shout out to Dr. Schallenberger, Dr. Rowan, and uh, so many different pioneers. That we have. Dr. Robbins is another one that's really important to, to talk about. But anyway, that being said, it's so important to get oxygen into your body. Now, we have a couple resources for you. Number one, we have um, the definitive guide for ozone therapy at home. Now, this is so important. This is a free thing that I give into you. Just type in hashtag ozone if, uh, if that's something interests you. I also have the cheat sheet, which talks about everything that I'm going to go over here, which is how you need to have this service at home. Now, a lot of people have access to ozone units. Their neighbor, a family member has them. If you don't have one, I have a great link for you that you can get the ozone unit that I'm talking about. But I just wanted to take a step back and talk about oxygen because it's so important for anti-aging, for cancer support therapies, for autoimmune disorders, for ulcerative colitis, for hemorrhoids, for chronic sinus problems, for brain fog, ringing in the ears. I mean, literally, if you can get oxygen into the body, it helps to get rid of acid. And acid causes so many different problems. And just talking about a molecular level, we have these power units inside of the body called mitochondria. They're inside of the cells. And we dump some important things in there. One is glucose. So we break down foods, proteins, and sugars to get glucose. It goes into basically the body. Then it goes inside of the cells. And by the way, if it's hard for the glucose to get inside the cells, we call that insulin resistance. And the cells don't have enough power. The other consideration is if I go to the gym and I am working out, and I use up my oxygen reserve. So I'm doing bench presses, or I'm on a treadmill, I'm on a bicycle, I'm doing curls. When you run out of oxygen, what happens is your body starts to make lactic acid and pyruvate. What does that mean? It makes the muscles sore. And when you repay the oxygen net, the soreness goes away. Now the difference between me and someone that has fibromyalgia or mixed connective tissue disease or polymyalgia rheumatica, which means all their muscles and joints hurt, is they don't have a good way to get rid of acid. And so when you repay the oxygen debt, usually most people can do that with exercise, but there's so many healthy things that'll, that'll take help with that, like yoga, like stretching, like isometric exercises, like walking, just moving usually helps things. Now, if you have a chronic infection, what occurs is your body can't use oxygen very effectively and I get asked all the time, Dr. West, what should I do at home so that I can be healthy? And then I go back to the basics, good food, good air, good water, and a way to get oxygen into your system. Exercise, walking, are, are really good. I like sauna, I like hot baths. There's a way that that can help you to improve your circulation and things like that. And then ozone units. So that was the, the benefit of our program is to talk about ozone, the new medical drug. It's three molecules of oxygen and I ran across this in 2005, and not only has it been life-changing for me, it's life-changing for patients. And so this is a unit that we have. We have, um, this is called a Simply O3 unit, and we have an oxygen source right here. We have an oxygen bubbler. There's a, a syringe mechanism of how to get this in the body. We'll go over that. And there's also a, um, a stethoscope mechanism, and it's just amazing what it does for people. We use, we have six ozone units in the office. We use it all the time to help people to regain their oxygen levels. And if you're just joining us, the Dr. West Live at Five, we have the Ozone Therapy at Home Cheat Sheet. It's a one um, page cheat sheet. We also have the Definitive Guide to Home Ozone. It's about 11 pages. And then also in part of that process, we have the Definitive Guide to Home Ozone Studies. So there's studies on cardiovascular concerns, 
hematologic disease, viral conditions, stomach conditions. Um, they talk about uh, some benefit of hydrogen peroxide and nebulizing and um, eye diseases and surgery and wound healing. It's all in here. So it's not just me saying it. Not only is it in the research, but it's on our patient blog, dailydosevitaminh.com. We talk about the amazing stories we inside of the West Clinic system with our medical provider, our medical um, oversight. We have a alternative medicine, a mind body healer, and we get people that are out of hope and out of time and out of options coming to the office. And this is one of the things that we do and I just wanted to share it with people. So again, I don't care where you get an ozone unit, but you need to control what's called the gamma or the concentration because too much ozone is really, really unhealthy. And if you get just enough ozone, it's life changing. So I wanted to share that with people and just walk through a really simple setup. If you need an ozone unit, please reach out to us. You can direct message me or you can go to westclinicteam.com. I have a whole setup that's available for people, but so many people have access to them already. I just wanted to share the information. I think it's the most important thing that I've learned about in 24 years of not only studying medicine, but in being in practice for 20 years. So that being said, just wanted to walk people through what an ozone unit looks like. Now this is available through their website. Just making sure that you can ozonate water is like the first step. So this is just a fun um, contraption we put together. I like it because it makes me feel like a mad scientist. And um, it's really fun to show people how this works. So this is your oxygen source. You can, con you can see there's just a little conversion unit on top. I like to have between 10 and 30 gamma. And what it is, is you just click this little start button right here. And then what happens, you turn on the oxygen source, you go to the right unit. So that's three fourths right here. And you'll see it kick on in just a second. And voila, now we're ozonating. This is just ozonated water. Now, why would you wanna use ozonated water? For stomach conditions primarily. And I tell people, if you'll do like eight to 12 ounces of ozonated water, it's so good for ulcers, for GERD, for um, heartburn, for indigestion, for um, upset stomach, really good for nausea. And so what's happening is this is bubbling. So I just wanted to get a real quick look. This, you bubble it for eight to 10 minutes. And then what I encourage people to do is you need to drink it within 30 minutes because every 30 minutes, the half-life of the ozone decreases 50%. So what does that mean? That means if you ozonate water and you don't drink it within an hour, it's just drinking water. You're not getting any benefits of the extra oxygen. So I'm gonna, even though we're not done, I'm gonna shut this off here and I'm gonna show you a really neat way to help with brain fog. Now, this is one of the most common things I see for people that come into the office because they're saying, I can't remember where I put my keys. I can't remember um, a person's name. I can do crossword puzzles. I call my kids the wrong name all the time. So if you're calling your kids or your neighbors or your spouse the wrong name, what this is one of the neat hacks that we have. And what I mean by hacks is you can take an oxygen source, you can run it into the ozone, and now guess what? You have a ear device. And so what you do is you just put this in. It kind of sounds like you're in a wind funnel, but it's creating extra oxygen going across the tympanic membrane. And literally the hypothesis is that it helps to oxygenate your central nervous system. I see so many good things, chronic earaches. This is one of my favorite things to do for kids, but it's also really good. I do this all the time for myself because I don't know if I can get completely slow down the age train. And I'm joking because of course I can. Like I can slow it down. You're not gonna eliminate it. And I don't care about gray hair and wrinkles, but I really care about my mind and my central nervous system. And so what's happening is, is I do this because I think it helps to get extra oxygen to my nervous system. So this is called ear insufflation. Now, another way that you can use to get ozone in the body is to put the extra oxygen in your third lung. Now the third lung is the colon. So what happens is you get food digested, you have water, you get vitamins through your GI tract, it goes into the colon, and then the colon is going to reabsorb those vitamins and minerals. This is why when you have colon disease, it's really hard for you to be optimal health. So there's two ways to get that into the system. Number one, it just with a syringe mechanism, you can hook it up to a, an ozone flat, or excuse me, the ozone port, and you can see it's just coming right up here. 
And then what happens is we have a catheter uh, that's part of the ozone. You, know, you, you click this into the catheter. Now, this is socially awkward to talk about, but it's so beneficial to people because you put a little bit of lubricant here, and where do you put it? You insert it up the rectum into the colon, and now you can just push this in. Now, you, obviously, you're not gonna push it that fast. You're gonna just push it nice and gently into the system. And so what does that mean? That means if we get extra oxygen in the colon, like literally you can get it systemic. I have, I have people that will come into the office and you use this and people will say, hey, you know what, I, can, I, I think I can smell it coming out of my skin. And I think I absolutely believe that that's what's happening. It's so beneficial for any lower end GI problem. The other way to do it is you can use a higher volume. This is um, an insufflation bag where you just connect this to the ozone import device. And so what happens is uh, the bag will start to fill up. Um, it's going a little bit faster than normal. That's okay because I use it for demonstration purposes. You just simply disconnect this. You go to your catheter. You insert it up the colon, up the rectum, into the colon, the third lung and then you squeeze this forward like a tube of toothpaste. Now, why am I sharing this with people? Because the purpose of healthcare doctor is to teach people how to be healthy. I am so excited to be able to share this with people about the ozone. And so I'm gonna turn off the unit here so we stop generating ozone uh, here. But the reason why I'm sharing this with people is this is one of the best things that you can do at home to be healthy. The definitive guide to ozone also, there's a cheat sheet, just a single page that talks about uh, insufflation therapy, ear insufflation, ozonated water. There's also a way to bag um, sores and stuff. So if you have things that aren't healing, like ulcers and cuts, uh, maybe Raynaud's syndrome, or we can, uh, man, I'm just having a brain squeeze, skin rashes and ulcers that don't heal. You put a bag around it, you put the ozone tube in there, and it hyper oxygenates the area. I've seen multiple legs and hands from amputation using that one, IV antibiotics and hyperbaric oxygen failed. It's inside of our research pack right here. There's also a cheat sheet guide and the definitive guide for ozone. All you have to do to access this is just type in hashtag ozone and I'm gonna send you some information. If you need an ozone unit, you can get it at westclinicteam.com. If you have access to an ozone unit, make sure that you know your resources. I'm so excited to share that with you. It's a short show this week. That's all I'm gonna share with you this week. I'm excited to be able to provide additional information. It's every Thursday at five o'clock. If you need information on ozone, just type in hashtag ozone inside the comment section. This is Dr. West with a special thanks to Becky, Jose, and Caden for helping me put the show together. We had a little bit of technical difficulties, so we had to reshoot the show. This is our reshoot, and I really appreciate those guys doing it. I'll see you next week, Thursday, 5 o'clock, same bat time, same bat channel. Dr. West signing out. Don't forget, hashtag Ozone. See you guys next week.